Hey everybody, this is Brian from Light Junction. I'm going to talk to you today about a couple new products we've just recently received from Nightcore, the EC11 and the EA11. These are both fantastic pocket size everyday carry lights and they've received some pretty big upgrades from some of the other small lights that Nightcore has released in the past. So today we're going to unbox these guys and go through the quick operations of both of them. Uh, but first we'll talk about the specs. Both of them have a high output of 900 lumens when using lithium ion batteries. EC11 takes the CR123 format, so it'll operate on uh, primary CR123 lithiums or rechargeable RCR123s or 16340s. The EA11 operates on the AA style can format, so AA 1.2 or 1.5 volt batteries, uh, alkaline or rechargeable, nickel metal hydride. It'll also accept uh, lithium ion 14500 cells or the IMR 14500 cell. So we've got a wide range of options. Uh, the lights pretty much do the exact same thing, just depends on what kind of batteries you want to put in them. Both have a high output of 900 lumens, five regular modes, and will both do a ultra low one lumen output. Uh, max runtime is about 12 hours. This is all based on the 14500 for this guy and the RCR123 for this guy. Uh, 190 meter beam, max beam distance for both of them. They're both 1.5 meter drop impact resistant and have a waterproof rating of IPX8. So that's the main specs for these lights. We'll show you what you get out of the packages when you buy one of these today. Let's go over some of the accessories they come with. They both have a holster, a little belt holster for a little light. Got a package full of goodies, uh, lanyard, a couple replacement O-rings, and a pocket clip. The Nightcore warranty card. And both come with the Nightcore user's manual. So there we go. Let's put all this junk aside and talk about the flashlights themselves. This is the EA11 and this is the EC11. You can tell they're both very, very small lights. They're both the same output. It just depends on your size preference, whether you want to have the option to run super common AA batteries in one, then I would get this guy. It's not that much bigger. If you want the smallest possible configuration you can get, then this guy, the EC11, is good for you. They both operate the same exact way. Finish on them looks nearly identical. They both have on power buttons and then a secondary mode switching button. Both have flat tail cast for tail stand capability. The EC11 makes a little bit better tail stander because it's a little bit wider to accommodate the battery and the fact that it's not that tall means it's got a lower center of gravity so it's not going anywhere. The finish on them both is great. They both come with semi-deep orange peel reflectors and in there you can see the secondary LED that's meant for the red output that they both have. Overall, a very nicely finished lights. So let's power them on and see what they'll do. For testing purposes today, the EA11 has got a 14500 lithium ion battery in it and the EC11 has got a primary lithium battery. So a little bit lower light output when you put this primary battery in as it's operating at three volts instead of 3.7 volts like this guy. But still the same exact operation. So let's turn them on. Let me turn some lights off here so that we can really get the feel for what the lights will do, especially in the ultra low lumen mode. So general operation, you hit the power button, comes on. It does have memory, so it'll memorize the last regular mode you're in. So once we start hitting the mode selection button, we toggle through all of the settings. So this is, this is one lumen, super low lumen. And then low, medium, high, turbo. Press the power button, turn it off. That's it. Uh, a couple quick functions. Press and hold the mode button instead of the power button. It jumps right to turbo mode. And then the light's on in turbo and you can keep continuing to click through the mode button to get the selection that you want. While the light is off, if you tap the mode button, you get the secondary red LED light to come on. So this is not a super bright red LED, but could be useful for map reading and things like that. While it's on the red LED, you press and hold the mode button, turns into a little signal. So 
might find yourself wanting to sit in with somebody in a low light situation. This is the mode for you. So you press the mode button one time to get out of that. That's how that's done. While the light is on, it will go into standby mode. If you press and hold the power button, it goes into standby. And one of the neat features about standby is it does just a very consistent blink of the low red output. So this is good for if you're in a dark area and you want to turn your light off but leave it on standby. This little blinking light makes it really easy to find in the dark since the flashlight is black and very small. So that might come in handy. For those of you that like lockout features so you don't get accidental operation, it does have a lockout. With the light on, if you press both the mode and power buttons simultaneously and hold them, it goes into lockout mode. And it flashes a couple times to show you that it's in lockout mode. And then the light can't be turned on. So you don't have to worry about accidental activation. To get out of lockout mode, and it's really easy to do too. If you can see here, the mode and power buttons are so closely spaced together that pressing them both at the same time is not an issue. So to get back out of lockout mode, press and hold both buttons at the same time and the light will power back on and operate. Let's talk about strobes. When the light's on, press and hold the mode button and you get into the first setting, which is a strobe. If you press and hold the mode button again, the next setting is a beacon. And I actually like the beacon. There's a lot of lights that advertise that they have a beacon and it's not really a true beacon format where it goes up in intensity and flashes really quick and then lowers back down in intensity. This is actually a true beacon flash. Press and hold one more time and you get to SOS. And you can see it strobing through the SOS feature. That's it for the operation of this light. They both operate the same exact way. We'll show you the difference here and see if you can see much of a difference between the, the highest outputs on these guys. So you can see a little bit of a difference. This one right here has the uh, lithium ion rechargeable cell in it, operating at a little bit higher voltage. So you can see it's just a little bit brighter than the CR123 cell. Not a whole lot brighter, but kind of show you the difference between jumping up in voltages there and what that will do for you. So in a quick nutshell, that's pretty much it. This is the EA and EC11s. I think these are fantastic little lights. This is the quintessential everyday carry pocket light because they are so small. I, I personally wouldn't use the pocket clip or the holster because they'll both slip in your pocket and you'll never know they're there. They're also priced at a very nice point. So I'd recommend that you come to Light Junction today while we still have plenty of them in stock and grab one for yourself. They make great gifts for friends and family too. If you have any questions about these lights or any other lights by Nightcore or other brands that we carry, stop by lightjunction.com, shoot us an email, chat with us when we're online. We'll be happy to assist you with all of your light buying needs.